Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit. Birthday style. This is my birthday week. If you're watching this video at any other time, it's okay. It's somebody's birthday sometime, somewhere. Today I get to channel the people that I want to channel who are people who have inspired me or encouraged me along this incredible journey here at Above Life Channel. So, Today's guest is Louise Hay. Why? Because Louise Hay is a powerful, inspirational woman. She had a lot of guts. She was a trailblazer. You may have heard of her company, Hay House Publishing, and she was an incredible healer. She was really an advocate for the spirit of women, for us to take care of ourselves, for soul care, for compassionate, loving energy. And I have really been blessed to be able to know her a bit as a guide sort of a mentor. Now we don't talk all that often because quite frankly, I'm not that great of a listener when it comes to <laughs> focusing on myself. Like soul care, what is that? And so I think I'm a little resistant to that extra level of help. Just like you guys, you see, just because I'm a psychic medium does not mean I'm perfect. It means I need more help than anybody else does when it comes to soul care. So let's talk to Louise Hay about soul care. Come on in, Louise. She's like, hello, Bridget. It's so nice to see you again. Hi, nice to see you too. She's gonna actually sit right across from me at the kitchen table. All right. Okay, here, let's get situated. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, I know. I okay, so you guys, um I just did a session with someone who's a psychic medium and I you guys, I just that juices me up, man. I am just over the moon when that happens. I love to help people who are coaches, who are healers, who are card readers, who are psychics, who are mediums, because it makes me feel like I really am in that one session, that one hour session really amplifying the positive energy for connection and inspiring, really awakening and inspiring the spirit of other people because I'm supporting through soul care, those folks. Gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Am I a little over dramatic? Yes, I'm amped up because this was so amazing. So Luis, I would love for you to give me and our viewers advice about soul care. How can we better care for our soul, our spirit? What does that mean for you? What does that look like? Give us some guidance and I will do my best to try to not be so antsy and actually listen. <laughs> I know, right? I get those comments sometimes. Um, sometimes people will comment on my videos that um, I could be an actress, but let's just be clear they're not saying it nicely and maybe i did miss my true calling but who knows perhaps in an afterlife i was a famous actress you never know maybe i'm just channeling my soul so <laughs> she says you need to be whoever you want to be which is you in your full expression of whatever that looks like at the time sometimes we're happy sometimes we're sad sometimes we're angry sometimes we're not so light light worker light like and and nice as what Louise says thank you I appreciate that oh but it's the, she said it's the truth it's the truth so soul care hmm that is an interesting subject there are many many ways that one can care for their soul and as you know it's often confused with self-care in forms of the context of Oh, taking a warm bath or getting a massage or having a weekend with girlfriends. While these things are, are very important and can certainly recharge and rejuvenate you, it is even more important for you to pay attention to the needs of your spirit. And what that entails is much more, much more of a practice of a making time, physical time out of your day-to-day -day schedule to work on the connection between you and your spirit. So the mind and the spirit have a tumultuous relationship and it is up to you to navigate or perhaps, perhaps forge a path between the mind and the spirit 
because these two could be very adversarial during your life experience. And when they are adversarial, it does not help anyone. There is much often a negotiation that occurs in which the mind gets its way because the spirit knows that eventually it will have the freedom to express itself. However, for your best interest, if you want to express that in your human life, during your human life experience, you must take control, or perhaps a better word would be responsibility for the way that you feel in regards to your energy state and recognizing that your thoughts are perpetuating the constant state of feeling that you are in. Yes, the thoughts are perpetuating the constant state of feeling within. Now the thoughts, it could be argued, are prompted by a reaction, something that could occur to you that you feel or have a strong feeling of or sense about that challenges your identity or something that is has been created for you as a structure for you to view the world or to move through the world in your your human life experience these structures or lenses that are designed to frame the way you take in information can be overutilized and taken completely out of context wherein the reaction of the mind to the heart's emotional reaction is something that creates difficulty for you. And it is important then for you to honor your feeling. The emotion of things is not to be controlled or withheld, it is rather intended to provide additional feedback about your life experience. And when the body, in its infinite wisdom, chooses to share through the heart-based emotion and reaction of such feeling or emotion within the body, the mind will consider this a challenge and not allow it to continue. It will try to in, in, instruct the heart with discipline. And so you have learned through many of your experiences, haven't you, in your lifetime, to temper the emotions or to hold it in. So often, so many people over the years I have heard talk about holding in their emotion and taking whatever someone else is putting upon them as the truth as what is right and not even allowing for themselves to have a voice even though externally in some very extreme situations there cannot be a voice and yet internally that voice is learned to be turned down which is why they say that the soul whispers so in your effort to care for your soul it is important to understand that these habits these ways of being and, and the experiences that you have had in your lifetime are what is creating the reality that you choose to live. And in order to make changes or to enhance your very productivity for your purpose, you must recognize that it will take time for you to create this relationship between the mind and the spirit in a way that allows for things such as emotion, but much more um, benign would be to say energy. And that if you think of everything, everything in the terms of energy, then it is much easier to understand this and much easier to implement some type of a practice. So when you're talking about practice, Luis, what kinds of practices are you talking about that would help us with our soul care? Well, first of all, it would be things such as utilizing the words. And you can utilize the words to support the energy flow of your spirit. And the words are a place that is a bridge to the mind, as you well know. And you can use the words through affirmation, through mantras or meditation. You can use the words in journaling or writing. You can use card decks. You can use tools such as tapping or EFT. There is a 
an incredible amount of resources that are available to you to utilize the words as a bridge from the spirit. This is something that can go a long way in caring for your spirit. It can allow the voice of the spirit, of your unique spirit, to be recognized within you. It cannot be recognized externally until it is recognized within you and allowed a path an energetic path to flow and to be expressed. And this is one way that you can begin that process. That is insightful, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And I know this about words. I know this about words myself. And I've been journaling and writing a heck of a lot more than I ever have before. So it's, it's encouraging for you to, to say that. Thank you. That's pretty easy to do, you guys. It's not that hard. It's not like she didn't say you have to ohm in a corner for an hour twice a day. She said, you know, maybe journaling, maybe using card decks, um, maybe using affirmations or like a meditation that has a mantra for it. That's not complicated. And so it's our responsibility to really take on if we want to feel better, if we want to be the best, most productive spirit living a human life that we can be, we need to take accountability for that and recognize that it's not on somebody else to make you feel better about yourself. It's on you. The reason why you don't feel so good about yourself when other people challenge your values or your belief systems is most likely because within yourself, you do not feel good. You do not feel as though you are worthy or strong enough to be deserving of such high praise. When the truth is, you 100% are. But you can't seem to believe that or accept that as truth or your reality. Because if you do, then you are responsible to show up that way. So I challenge you all this week, this beautiful week of my birthday, to connect in with the energy of your spirit to call yourself forward into recognizing how important your soul care is to this life experience and how important your spirit is to the success of you as a person a human being and that's not for somebody else to decide or define you or identify you as it's for you to be to become and to expand more fully into the spiritual being that you are so that you can make a positive, inspiring impact on the world. And the world might be in your own home. It might be in your classroom. It might be in your church. It might be on the world stage. It might be as a writer, as a singer. It might be as a mother, as a parent. There are so many different ways that you can express your full expansion of us as a spirit living in a human life. So this is Bridget, enjoying my time with Louise Hay today. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you for your words of wisdom. I'm looking forward to listening back to this. I love that. I love the energy that you bring. Thank you so much. And she says, happy birthday. I'm like, Thank you. Appreciate that. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you too. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bridget at Above Life Channel on YouTube. Make sure you take a moment to subscribe to this channel so you never miss the weekly channeling sessions that I share. And if you're interested in the vlogging that I do, check out Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel. Fairy Grasshopper is my vlogging channel as well. Remember the purpose here at Above Life Channel is always to inspire your spirit to fill you with hope because this is your life. So live it, just live it. Thanks for watching.